Welcome to the Simply Luxurious Kitchen, made here at Le Papillon in my home kitchen, inspired by what I find in my garden, the local farmer's markets, and meals I enjoy while out and about. Join me as I share seasonal fare to elevate the everyday meal. And welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a dessert that is classic French This season is all about adding simple touches of flavor to elevate favorite French recipes. And most importantly, discover how to enjoy stepping into your kitchen. Let's get started. Welcome to the Simply Luxurious Kitchen and welcome to my kitchen. Oscar is being my supervisor today in the chairs by the fireplace watching. Norman is taking a nap and we are going to make lentils two different ways. Lentils are often overlooked but a wonderful staple to have in your pastry or your pantry to add protein and to add fiber. I gravitate toward using, surprise, surprise, the French lentil, which is called Le Puy, L-E-P-U-Y, and it's named after the region in France. And it is one of the five general types of lentils. So you have black, brown, red, green, and the French lentil. The French lentil can only be called French lentil if it's come from uh, that region, Le Puy. And Le Puy is south central France. It's um, a little catty corner west from Lyon, and it is uh, north of Provence. And it, these do have a bit of a peppery flavor to them, and it's very subtle. But what they're really known for is that they hold their shape really well. Um, anyway, look for French lentils. Otherwise, you can use the other lentils for any of these recipes. But if you have them, I highly recommend them. They're not that much more expensive at all. All right, so we have two different side salads, which I have enjoyed as main dishes at various times. And the first one is getting started. So I'm boiling water. You don't have to boil it first, but um, you want for these lentils, for every one cup, you want two and a half cups of water. So we're gonna get these started because they do take a little while to make, uh, to cook. Okay. And you just throw it in there. I have salted that as well. But it usually takes, you know, just kind of like pasta, uh, 15, 20 minutes. But you, I would check it frequently. Um, once the water is for the most part gone, not entirely, check it to check the, um, the dente, how, de how, how soft you want them, and then just drain the excess water. Now, as I mentioned, we're doing two different salads. So I started at another pot of water, two and a half cups, and I've already put the one cup of lentils in it. So my, my lentil um, container is getting a little bit depleted, need to stock up. Um, I also have the oven on because we're gonna be roasting sweet potatoes. What am I doing? So the lettuce, and I have what I have here is spinach, but we're also gonna use arugula for the second salad. Put that aside. And with lentils, I have had so many different salads with it. And again, it's a good base. So if you're trying to step away from pasta or things that um, are too carby, this is a great um, a shift because again, it's very nutritious, it's very filling, and it provides a lot of um, base for the flavors you wanna work with. All right, so we are going to use one sweet potato and we're just going to Put it into cubes Ooh. and if you remember we had a recipe for sweet potatoes and um, arugula with chicken um, two seasons ago season two Oof, i like small cubes but they're going to be kind of rough too um, sweet potatoes are different than yams and um, be sure to check out season two's episode and i'll link it to learn all about the history of what real yams and sweet potatoes are, what the difference is, because there is. I go for the sweet potato that has this beautiful orange color, and these ones come from California, and I like to, for this recipe, just have kind of rough chunks, so nothing too fine. I'm not going super small dice, but a good mouthful, but not too large. Okay. 
okay? You do not need to peel these. This, is, this recipe, well, both of them are, but this one has fewer ingredients, are very simple to make. And they keep for a couple days as well. You know what, I'm gonna do one more since I have a small sweet potato here. Whoop! Oscar saying you're throwing things. I'm throwing things, huh, all day? Yeah. Now this recipe was another recipe that I found in Raymond Blanc's cookbook, Simply Raymond. Cannot recommend that cookbook more highly. I didn't change a thing with this recipe, so his credit is entire here. Um, so make sure that you just simply have sweet potatoes, lentils, spinach, and I'll give you a little secret of the dressing here in a second. So we'll get these in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Check them, you might wanna turn them over for 10 more minutes, kind of flip them after 20 to 25 minutes. First, we need to dress these. We're gonna drizzle them with olive oil. There we go. And salt and pepper, and that is it. That'll roast them nicely. Oh, I love this recipe. I just love this recipe only because it again marries a subtle sweet flavor with what a savory salad is. What it, it's gonna be a savory salad, but you have a subtle sweet flavor. Sure, okay, salt. Toss it. Use your fingers. Get the fingers in there. Moisturize those hands. <laughs> and then just make sure it's all laying flat so they're all going to get a first row seat to the oven. And then stick it in. 25 minutes. Check them. Make sure they're fully cooked. They may not be. Toss them and then 10 more minutes. All right. So that is our buzzer. And we're going to see how our sweet potatoes look. Oh, they look good. Lots of steam coming out of there, that's good. Oops, making all sorts of noise. Music, Otter Bear, music. So I'm just flipping them. These actually look really good. We wanna cook them just about seven, maybe 10 minutes more. I'll try to get things flipped over, flipped over. So cooking well on all sides. And then back into that one layer, front row seating. <laughs> And uh, back in for seven to ten minutes. All right, so while that is cooking, what I'd like to do is get the second salad going. So I've actually finished the lentils. Take a peek at what these lentils look like now. So while those sweet potatoes are finishing up for our first salad, Oscar was cleaning up the floor down here because I've made messes. <laughs> We're gonna prepare for our second salad. The lentils are all ready. You can have the lentils made ahead of time. That's totally fine. The tap dancing is all credit to Oscar Fredaster is his great, great, great um, somebody. Anyway, so we need to first put a third of a cup of raisins, approximately. So approximately a third of a cup of raisins. And we're gonna just cover the raisins with grapeseed oil. Just cover, just enough so it covers the raisins. There's no measurement here so much as you want these just basically marinating, soaking in this olive oil. Kind of plump back up a little bit while you're making the rest. So just set that aside. Okay, this part is what's gonna take a little bit of time. So we, we want a half a pound of Castle Ventrano Italian olives. All right, while we let the raisins marinate, we're gonna actually make the vinaigrette that's going to go in this salad. And it's not gonna look like your typical salad. I fell in love with this salad after years and years and years of going to a favorite grocer in Portland, Oregon. 
I go to Portland a couple times um, throughout the year, more than a couple times, probably six times every every other month or so. And there's a favorite market that I like to go to. And on my way home, um, I pick up a snack or a lunch, a late lunch. And sometimes we'll go to the park and we'll walk and we'll sit. Um, or I bring it home and I eat it when I get to bed. Ooh, sweet potatoes. Let's check on the sweet potatoes and I'll finish the story. Woo! Okay. Yes. We'll let them cool just for a second, but don't let them cool too much. Let's make the vinaigrette first. So, so while we're doing that, we can do the vinaigrette. So I want three tablespoons of canola oil. And just put this in a mixing bowl or a small Pyrex measuring cup. Two, three, that's all I need for the canola. Now I need three tablespoons of extra olive, extra virgin olive oil. Here, one, two, and three. This is really a salad that's soaked up, uh, soaking all of its ingredients. It's not going to be loose or anything, this is, which makes it not necessarily the most attractive salad when you see it. Um, but when I started to in eat it, enjoy it, because I looked at the ingredients, I was like, this sounds really good. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to give it a try, and it was really good. Now I want two tablespoons of lemon, so about a full lemon. Make sure the seeds do not go in. Good. Get that nice citrusy flavor. You need one clove of garlic. Chop that up. That is just so satisfying when you pound the garlic like that. Chop it up. Nice big clove here. And it's sticking to me. Anyway, so I would pick this up and I just devoured it. I mean, it's like, it's just so good. And so, of course, I look all over for the recipe, can't find it. And then, you know, they have to give you the ingredients for all the salads that they put out. This is from the deli. And I just took a look at the lid and played with the ingredients that they shared. The key ingredient are these olives. Castle Vetrano olives from Italy. Green olives, but not just any green olives. You can get them. I got them at a local market here in Bend. They usually come pitted, so you want to get rid of the pit, obviously. Um, but that was a key point of it. And then the raisins. So you have the savory, but then you have the raisins. So, and then you obviously have the lettuce, and it's just, oh, so simple, but just the, uh, how all those layers work together. All right, so we have our garlic, we have our lemon juice, we have our um, canola oil and EVOO, so extra virgin olive oil, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, let's whisk that up, because what we're going to do is let the arugula soak in this for a while. I want the arugula wilted before I put the salad together. You may be thinking, what are you thinking? I am thinking. That's good. All right, so now, my tongs out. We're gonna mix. I'm gonna drizzle this all over the arugula, and I have a good two to four cups of arugula here. Toss it. So it's getting dressed while it's waiting for the lentils or for you to hit the olives. It's thinking about adding more flavor. So you're just basically giving this salad time to marinate, time to soak all of this flavor up. Oh, this is good. Okay, I'm making a mess. Nice, I love it. Set it aside. Now, because this is warm, I wanna make this salad for you and then I will put this one together in a minute. All right, so first, Put about four cups of spinach in. Remember the spinach will reduce itself, it'll will down. It's about four cups of spinach. Now we have our, a cup of lentils. Now, 
what I want to share with you is, as I shared in the previous video, <clears throat> these lentils really do hold their shape. This is a cup of lentils. Now, play with how much you want to add, but this is really a lentil salad with sweet potato and spinach. So put the whole cup in, but notice all of the water was soaked up. So two and a half cups of water to one cup lentil, and you can, and you can reduce that down and half it if you need to. So we're gonna put all of this in there. Wonderful, let me get the spoon. There we go. Protein, fiber, it's a full meal. And that's why I really do enjoy this as a full meal. Now this is why you wanna add it warm. All of that remaining extra virgin olive oil that it's soaking in, it's gonna go into the salad, okay? And so we're gonna take the paper and just take the whole thing over. Yes. Let everything snuggle out of there. Oh, yum. Yum, just keep on running out. All right. Now you have two options here. You can add red wine vinegar, about a table to two tablespoons, or same thing with the lemon juice. Or you can add both. I add both. So I give one of each. So one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and one tablespoon, oh, there's a seed that slipped out, of lemon juice. And remember, you've already seasoned the sweet potato. You have added salt to the lentils. And then you added the lemon juice and the red wine vinegar. It's been flavored, it's been seasoned, now just toss it. You wanna get all of this, all of the spinach to be coated with the dressing. You can smell that red wine vinegar. So again, that's completely your choice for the dressing, but that's all it is. And it's such, whoops, I am making a beautiful mess. So that means we need to try this. Get a little bit of everything in here. Our sweet potato, a little bit of spinach, and of course some lentils. <laughs> I love sweet potatoes. <laughs> but the longer you let it sit, it's good warm. The longer you let it sit, I love the salad cold too. The spinach will kind of just blend itself into the salad. Yes, wilts, but that's what you want. And you get the you get the iron from the spinach, you get the sweet potato, you get the lentils for the protein and fiber. It's a very simple dish and it pairs well with so many different things, any type of meat dish. Um, and I've paired it with fish too, but whatever you want to pair it with, it'll be delicious. We still have one more salad to finish up for the lentils. So the last piece of the second salad, in my opinion, is what makes this salad so good. It's like finding little diamonds as you're eating. I mean, you, meaning you're always searching these out. So I take these and I just, um, you can actually pit, I do have a pitter. Um, if you have a pitter, you could actually just use a knife too. I have a pitter that I use for my cherries. So a half a pound of olives, obviously you want more. This is your salad, you can make it however you want. I'm gonna pit these and then when I'm done, I'll put it all together. All right, we are ready to combine everything in this lovely salad. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is actually add the lettuce. Um, I'm not gonna add it all. I'm gonna add about a handful or two. I can add more later. I wanna add all of the raisins and the grape oil, grape seed oil. Like I said, this is not a super pretty salad. Um, it's gonna be full of all sorts of oil. Then I'm gonna add those lovely olives that you pitted, and we're gonna mix that up. Then we check the consistency, then we're gonna check the flavor and we might add more of the vinaigrette with the arugula. So let's toss it up and just check for the consistency that we want. I wanted to have more lentils. Some people might want less. Some people might want more arugula. This is why you wanna kind of piece it together and add a little bit more because you can't take it back. But this is looking good consistency wise. So let's try it just so we can taste what we have, a little bit of arugula. And I still would let that arugula soak even longer. I like it really wilted. Mm. 
It's good. I like this. I like this. Lentils. They offer such a fundamental component from which we can build a lot of flavor upon. So we have our lentil salad with olives and raisins and our lentil salad with sweet potatoes and spinach. Two great dishes, very simple to make and very healthy for sides or a meal on their own. I do hope you enjoy them when you give them a try. Enjoy your day, enjoy your food and enjoy stepping into your kitchen. Bonjour.